How do you feel about the cornerback position right now at Miami? It's kind of unique, and I'd questioned this before. I don't doubt that they're physical. Like Jaden, as you mentioned, that is a physical football player Great in tackle. the box area. Yeah, he yeah. for a corner, he tackles like a linebacker. He does not jack around, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. And Tez is like six two and a half, and he's like four three speed. Like one on one, he's going to win ninety percent of the time, regardless of who's in front of him. That's unfortunate. They're not going to play another Tez Walker of that speed and size. Keon that coming up at Florida State in a few weeks will be in the in yeah. the realm, but Tez is probably the fastest guy they'll face. The point is still the same. Does Miami have pure man-to-man coverage skills that give you thoughts that this can be a top 10 team? Right now, I don't think so. But they've got guys on the roster, the Brown brothers, et cetera, that you're like, okay, Jadis, you know, we heard a lot about him in fall camp. He hasn't, he hasn't done anything. I don't know what the problem or problems could be, but and, and it's not like Mario is going to hand those out at his Monday press conference. But at the same time, they got to figure something out because teams are just going to start throwing deep. It, it's going to happen. Right. And Clemson's got a really fast freshman. I guarantee you they're going to run some deep routes. Like he can fly. I forget the kid's name, but they're going to do it. It's on film now. You can get over the top of the Canes. So they better figure out something. And if they don't, this could be another transfer portal situation in the offseason that Miami has to go to. Yeah, and and you know Devonte Brown is someone because uh, you used to cover UCF and you covered him there. I'm yeah. I'm I'm just surprised he hasn't made more of an impact. Uh, I I think is he is he not that fast? Because that, that that's one of the things that I may, maybe I suspect is that they don't trust his speed. I don't know what else it could be. He's certainly long enough. He's six yeah. one six two. Uh, the, the length in the arm. I mean, I've stood next to him. He's got the length. I saw a couple of times, I think it was the AM game where in zone he he didn't do the things they wanted. They were pointing out things after plays, talking to him when he was still on the field. But it's like at some point he's a senior in college. Yeah. Yeah. It's on him. If they're not gonna play just straight man with him or whatever, they they gotta do something. But he's too talented not to play. There's something goofy here because I, I like Jaden, but he's not tall enough to go against Tez Walker. He's not. And they gotta find something else or some of these big-bodied receivers are going to eat them up. So Clemson doesn't have a great passing game, and I'm being kind. I mean, they scored, what was it, 17 points against Wake Forest? Yeah. They threw for like 150 yards or something. I don't. I mean, maybe Wake had a really good game plan, but I'm not picking on Wake. Clemson should be able to score 30 against Wake every single time. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And they got Will Shipley and, and, and Phil Moffat in the back. There. They got yeah. two good running backs. They didn't do a ton in that game either, so – Miami should be able, should be able to do good things against Clemson, but I'm worried about the individual one or two plays that can flip the game because, again, I know it's Tess Walker, and he's an NFL player. That guy has a chance yeah. to be a number one at the NFL level. No no debating it. But Miami's cornerback play has to be better in just sheer cover. I'm not saying tackling, not to get screamed. Over the top, it's got to get better. 